Hi, this is Tara Bolin, and we're sitting here with Rob Clemich and Michael Tang, first year med students, and they volunteer at the Saturday Neighborhood Health Clinic. Hello. Hi. Thanks for sitting down with me today. I have a couple questions for you guys. Uh, what type of care do you provide at the health clinic? So the main type of care that we try to provide at the Saturday Neighborhood Health Clinic is episodic care. And the idea is that since we have rotating volunteers through the clinic, we don't want to be continually having the, the patients come back to the clinic. We want to have them come in once and then get them set up with a primary care service somewhere else. Okay, great. And are you guys open Saturday all year long? There are a couple exceptions. Uh, for example, when we're gone for Christmas break and Thanksgiving, we won't be there. And in the summer, it's not every weekend. It's, I believe, every other weekend. Okay. Uh, but otherwise, it's pretty much year-round. And what are your hours? Um, and when it begins is sort of interesting. Yes. Um, we typically start seeing patients at 9 a.m. and until we finish, which is typically 12.30. 12.30, 1 o'clock. Okay. Um, um, okay. Oh, sorry. Go but, ahead. But for the patients, usually they're there earlier in order to get in line to sort of, uh, you, you have to get there early in the day in order to get on the list to be seen that day. Okay, and who's eligible to come to the clinic? Anyone without health insurance. Uh, this is designed to be a service for those people who don't have access to care through insurance. Okay, will they have to pay anything? Nothing. Nothing? What about medication? Uh, medication depends on the cost of the medication. If they are able to pay for medication, typically we'll have them do that. If there's a medication that they can't afford, we do have a voucher program uh, where we work through the medicine shop yes. and we can get them um, free medications. Okay, great. Uh, do they need to make any kind of appointment or is it just first come, first serve, like you said? It's, it's first come, first serve every, every single Saturday morning. So if you want to get an appointment, you have to get there fairly early on. Okay. How many staff do you guys have there? Uh, in general, it ends up being about three or four people, uh, three or four staff, uh, one security guard, one, um, receptionist. one receptionist, one medical records assistant. There's also usually a nurse on, on hand to do any medical procedures like an ECG. And then there's also uh, someone from Quest Lab Services who does, uh, does lab tests such as drawing blood. Okay, and how many residents? Uh, there are no residents that, that work there. We'll have attending physicians who are WashU faculty. And then staff, we haven't included the students. There's typically six students, sometimes eight. Yeah. I, I guess I should say seven or nine because I forgot the coordinator. Yeah. And do you guys have a new group of, of students every week or every month? Or? Uh, no. Usually it's a lot of new faces. There's mm -hmm. actually a, a course that we take as part of this where we learn about health disparities and, and things like that. Uh, and through that class, everyone is supposed to rotate through the clinic. However, I mean, both of us have been here two months, and we've already been more than once. Um, so usually we'll see a little bit of continuity. Okay. And what kind of impact has the clinic had on the neighborhood? Something that maybe I guess we could ask neighborhood individuals. Um, the thing is, we I guess it's, a f what, 400 per year or 500 visits that we have, something in that neighborhood? Yeah. So I would say, and, and some of those are repeats, but again, our goal is not to be someone's consistent form of care. Our goal is to be that entry point to get treatment for something that's necessary and then to show them the way to other resources. Okay. Um, so most of those 400 are individuals who, who've come to us. Um, and I guess for a neighborhood this size, not everyone is from the neighborhood, but I think it's made a pretty good impact in terms of getting people some access who wouldn't have it otherwise. And also we're trying to get people to use health care in a more efficient way uh, mm -hmm. than using the emergency room. Now, of course, some people need to use the emergency room, and at times we refer people there. Mm -hmm. But the goal is not to use a very expensive form of care, like the emergency room, okay. when we could give primary care and, and typically um, stop diseases before they get to a stage. It's very expensive and harmful. Okay. And how is WashU involved in the clinic? So WashU actually started the clinic. Uh, it was started in 1995 by... Seven, I thought it was 1997. Uh, so the actual oh, okay. idea started okay. in 1995 with a group of first-year medical students. Uh, they didn't actually get the program off the ground until January 1997 when they first started seeing patients uh, with the Family Care Health Clinic. Um, I forget what the original question was. Oh, I was just wondering how WashU was yeah. involved in the clinic. So, so basically, um, basically all the physicians that are at the clinic are WashU related physicians. Also, all the students, uh, both there are some preclinical students, so students that are in their first or second year, and then they're also grouped with 
students that are in their third and fourth year who have had more clinical experience. So we're the Wash the Washington community Washington University uh, community is basically running the clinic other than the staff at the clinic that help us with medical records and with labs. Okay. Uh, we also fund the clinic predominantly. Yes. Uh, so the vouchers that are used for medications for those that can't afford it, mm -hmm. um, a lot of that material, lab materials and whatnot, a lot of that is, is put forward by WashU. I think the Alumni Association is one of the larger yes. sources of our funding mm -hmm. um, as well as WashU itself. So yeah. okay. on, on most levels it's it's entirely run by WashU. Yes. Okay. We also have some federal grants as well that we get funding from. Great. Lots of great information. Thank you so much for sitting down with me today. No problem. Yeah.